Hello ladies and gentlemen, Damian Nelson welcoming you to this week's edition of the Nelson Analysis. We take a look back at wrestling last week and the week to come. Last week had some pretty good wrestling programs with SmackDown taking the lead again in my opinion and uh, TNA's Hard Justice pay-per-view which was much better than Victory Road but really didn't give what I necessarily expected uh, for that pay-per-view. Obviously, the biggest story of the week last week, though, was Kurt Angle being arrested on Saturday. He is facing court time in September for possession of drugs, the human growth hormone, and violating an order of protection against his girlfriend, who was revealed to be, uh, his former girlfriend, rather, revealed to be former TNA knockout Raka Khan. This is an ugly situation for TNA, one we talked about in depth on PWR radio this past week on ESPN Radio, but... As of the impact tapings, and these are spoilers, there are some spoilers coming up in this review, so you are forewarned. As of the impact taping for this week, Kurt Angle is still the world champion. Now, the problem is when you have a world champion surrounded by such controversy, it may not be the best of situations for the company. However, TNA must be confident, confident that Kurt Angle will be found innocent in this situation, much like the DUI charges from, I believe, last year where he was ultimately found innocent of those charges, but did lose his driving privileges, which is another situation that Kurt Angle may indeed be facing some jail time over uh, from that arrest this past weekend. Speaking of TNA, in that situation, you still got the Jeff Jarrett situation. Jeff Jarrett not at the tapings, not part of the programming this week. Uh, who knows what's going to come of that? that, that the whole situation right now on top of TNA is, is dicey at best. TNA also deciding it looks like that they are going to move forward with putting Taz in the color commentary role alongside Michael Mike Tanay. That happened at this week's Impact taping. So you'll see Taz performing play-by-play -play, uh, with Mike Tanay on Impact this week. And I, I was never the biggest fan of Taz's commentary. He wasn't bad, but... Uh, he certainly wasn't uh, the greatest at it, but he did it for a long time, and I'll give him a chance in TNA to see how that uh, comes off on television uh, and how he can interact with Mike Tanay. I thought him and Cole were a good team. Uh, we'll give him and Mike Tanay a chance to to also uh, get into a good place. Now, Don West is rumored to have been issued a promotion within the company and working more along the side of the merchandise stuff, which makes some sense, folks. That's his background. That's where he came from. Maybe they can at least get a bit more interest for their merchandising products with Don West at the helm of that group. Uh, but Don West was getting much better. Over the course of the last few months, Don West was very entertaining. He was entertaining at Hard Justice this past Sunday. He's been entertaining on Impact for the last several weeks. Uh, there were still holes in the commentary that he was able to do where he wasn't always the heel, uh, but I thought it worked. Uh, but a lot of fans out there, a lot of you out there, didn't necessarily agree or didn't think Don West should be in that position he was in. But he did it for seven years. This impact will be the first one where Don West and Mike Tanay were not the broadcast team. But we'll see what happens with that from there. So a good week in wrestling. We've got SummerSlam coming up this Sunday with the big return of DX. Uh, we'll see how long that plays out. And here's my problem with DX. you got two men who are in their late 30s or even early 40s who are trying to act like teenagers. And, you know, they're funny, and, and it, it is entertaining, and I guess that's all that matters. But uh, maybe I'm just reading too much into it. it. It's just a bit old and played at this point, in my opinion. But as you saw in Raw this past Monday night, the fans love it. The fans eat it up, and WWE does things for the masses. And if that is indeed what is happening with D-Generation X, the fans are loving it, then all the power in the world to them for bringing this group back and trying to get a little bit more excitement out of the product for that. We're going to be back again next week with another edition of the Nelson Update, and be sure to check out PWR Primetime this week, where we have uh, a lot more information on the Kurt Angle situation, TNA Wrestling, and Dave Hero is going to speak a bit more about his comments this past Monday on the ESPN Radio Show. Also, be sure to go to PWRShow.com and uh, check out all that the site has to offer, including subscribing to all of these updates, uh, video and radio, which will be available on iTunes as well. So you can go ahead and get this, these uh, episodes on your iPod or on your MP3 player via iTunes at no cost, free of charge. All you need to do is subscribe, and you'll be instantly notified when new episodes are available. This has been the Nelson Analysis. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you again 
tomorrow with another edition of PWR Express and next week with another edition of the Nelson Analysis.